This video is about using your own router instead of Verizon Fios, uh, such that you have full control. I'm using PF Sense that I put on a Protectily or however you say it uh, device, so I have full control. And uh, how I'm using my Fios TV1 and Fios Minis and how that all still works. So when I originally converted over to this, I removed this Fios router gateway completely. Uh, and everything just worked. Plug this guy in, configured it, just worked. However, uh, fast forward a number of months later, after everything still worked just great, I had a situation where one of my Fios minis uh, failed. So Fios just sent me a new one to install. And so when I, you know, set it up brand new, the, you know, it, it just basically said failed to find router. So essentially these Fios little minis uh, need to see this router. So at that time, I did not own this router. I'd actually given back the rental router to Fios so that I, I didn't need it anymore. So um, after reading up, uh, reading up on this online, I finally figured it out. So essentially what I did is I went to eBay and I got this router from somebody else for you know $25 uh, roughly delivered. Um, and you simply just take down your whole system, take your own uh, device down, plug this guy in, get it up and running, make sure it's on the same coaxial network that your Fios TV one and Fios minis are on. And then <clears throat> that Fios mini will then set up correctly at that time uh, and work. And uh, then after that's all working, you just take this router out of service again. So it's there just solely for that purpose. So uh, fast forward, uh, to the next situation, if you want that Fios uh, Mini to be on Wi-Fi, you have to do the same thing again. You just can't go change the, the Fios TV Mini to Wi-Fi. When you go to the Wi-Fi settings or when you go into the act of going to the Wi-Fi and it, re it says reboot itself, it'll automatically set up Wi-Fi. It won't unless it sees this router and it, it seems like it needs to see it through the coaxial network. So you just can't fire this up and turn on its Wi-Fi. I don't think it uses a Wi-Fi, you know, hidden network or anything like that. It's one thing I read online. It's like, oh, you need a Wi-Fi hidden network or it has one built in, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that's the case. For me, it didn't really work until I was on that coaxial and, and hooked back to the coax of my ONT um, and had the Fios TV1, like the main box, uh, all on that same network. So again, once you get your Fios uh, Mini on Wi-Fi with this in the network, it's on this router's Wi-Fi. So then at that point, you have to go through a sequence, uh, which you can find online, which is like, you know, hitting, um, turning the, the Fios TV Mini box on and then immediately hitting the OK button twice really fast, and then I think the left arrow. Uh, you could just do some research on that. It prompts and brings up this, um, you know, really uh, basic menu with kind of an off-white background with just black text, and you can go into the Wi-Fi configuration and switch it over to your normal Wi-Fi. In my case, it's just a mesh Wi-Fi from Deco. Switch that over, and it and it works. Once it's on that, you again can take down this, you know, Verizon official uh, router, uh, and then the minis just operate completely normal. So in my case, I've got a PF Sense uh, device here for my router. You know, D-Link switch. I've got just the um, Action Tech, just for the sole purpose of going between the coax and coax and ethernet um, ports um, such that my Fios TV one is on the coax mocha network and one of my Fios TV minis is still on the coax network and then two of my Fios TV minis are on Wi-Fi and they have been switched to my mesh system that is not you know Fios's built-in one okay so 
Uh, it will work. It does work. It's frustrating. Um, but the key is, is you have to just give in and put one of these guys online in your system, get your devices working correctly. And once they are, you take this thing back down. So I just, you know, bought this outright from eBay. Um, and I'll just keep it, well, right now just up here. Uh, and only bring it online when I need it, which is when I, when I need to reconfigure any of the minis, which, you know, presumably would not be often at all moving forward. So, uh, hope that helps. If you have questions, you know, you can shoot me a comment in the video, uh, and I'll explain any pieces that weren't uh, particularly clear. Um, and I shall show you the ONT I have too. Let me pause this. So for my case, it's, it's this ONT. It really should not matter at the end of the day. Um, it's just got the coax. Like I said, my Fios TV one, like the main box with the DVR that and one mini are on that Mocha network, but then the, everything else is on ethernet back to, um, that PSense router that I just talked about. Uh, I don't think really this ONT matters at all for the purposes of you know, what I just discussed. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, add one more side note. Uh, maybe somebody will figure this or uh, enjoy this tip. When I was doing something completely different, I, I have these uh, decos. Um, obviously, they're a mesh uh, that you might expect, and one of them is on an Ethernet backhaul. Um, that Ethernet backhaul actually goes over a uh, ubiquity wireless bridge between a separate building that I have. And that's really actually immaterial to this discussion. But the short story is that Ethernet cable comes in and I originally took that backhaul directly into my D-Link's gigabit switch here and it didn't work. And it was driving me crazy. And then I unplugged that backhaul and I took it directly into this Deco and it worked. Um, so uh, you can look it up online, but apparently these D-Link's don't uh, support the proper, you know, I, E, 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 whatever number standard for Ethernet backhaul that this Deco system uses. So the, the, the Ethernet packets or whatever for the backhaul would just not be translated properly. So anyway, hope that helps somebody also dealing with that. I'll, I'll try to put that in the subject line or something so it's uh, keyword searchable on YouTube. But anyway, I uh, hope that helps somebody. Thanks. Bye.